Only the Dead Know Brooklyn by Thomas Wolfe There is no guy living that knows Brooklyn true and true, because it'd take a guy a lifetime just to find his way around the friggin' town. So, like I say, I'm waiting for my train to come when I see this big guy standing there. This is the first I ever see of him. Well, he's looking wild, you know, and I can see that he's had plenty. But still, he's holding it. He talks good and is walking straight enough. So then, this big guy steps up to a little guy that's standing there and says, How do you get to 18th Avenue and 67th Street? Jesus, you got me, Chief. The little guy says to him, I ain't been here long myself. Where is the place? Out in the Flatbush section somewhere? Nah, the big guy says. It's out in Bensonhoist. But I was never there before. How do you get there? Jesus, the little guy says, scratching his head. You know, you could see the little guy didn't know his way about. You got me, Chief. I never heard of it. Do any of you guys know where it is? He says to me. Sure, I says. It's out in Bensonhoist. You take the 14th Avenue Express, get off at 59th Street, change to a sea beach local there, get off at 18th Avenue and 63rd, and then walk down four blocks. That's all you gotta do, I says. Go on. Some wise guy that I never seen before pipes up. What you talking about? He says. Oh, he was wise, you know. The guy is crazy. I'll tell you what you do. He says to the big guy. You change to the West End line at 36th, he tells him. You get off at New Utrecht and 16th Avenue. Walk two blocks over, four blocks up and you'll be right there. Oh, a wise guy, you know. Oh, yeah, I says. Who told you so much? He got me sore because he was so wise about it. How long you been living here, I says. All my life. I was born in Williamsburg, and I can tell you things about this town you never heard of. Yeah? Yeah. Well, then. You can tell me things about this town that nobody else ever heard of, either. Maybe you make it all up yourself at night, before you go to sleep, like cutting out paper dolls or something. Oh, yeah? You're pretty wise, ain't you? Oh, I don't know. The birds ain't using my head for Lincoln's statue yet, but I'm wise enough to know a phony when I see one. Yeah, a wise guy, huh? Well, you're so wise that someone's gonna bust you one right in the snoot someday. That's how wise you are. Well, my train was coming and right I smacked him then and there. But when I seen the train was coming, all I said was, All right, Mug, I'm sorry I can't stay to take care of you, but I'll be seeing you sometime, I hope, out in the cemetery. So then I said to the big guy who'd been standing there all the time, You come with me. So when we gets on the train, I says to him, Where are you going out in Bensonhoist? What number are you looking for? You know, I thought if he told me the address, I might be able to help him out. Oh, I'm not looking for no one. I don't know no one out there. Then what you going out there for? Oh, I'm just going out to see the place. I like the sound of the name. Bensonhoist, you know? So I thought I'd go out and have a look at it. What you trying to hand me? What you trying to do? Kid me? You know, I thought the guy was being wise with me. No, I'm telling you the truth. I like to go out and take a look at places with nice names like that. I like to go out and look at all kinds of places. How'd you know there was such a place if you never been there before? I got a map. A map? Sure. I got a map that tells me about all these places. I take it with me every time I come out here. And Jesus, with that he pulls it out of his pocket and so help me, but he's got it. He's telling the truth. A big map of the whole friggin' place with all the different parts marked out. You know, Canarsie and East New York and Flatbush, Bensonhoist, South Brooklyn, the Heights, Bay Ridge, Green Punt. The whole goddamn layout he's got right down the map. You been to any of those places? I says. Sure. I've been to most of them. I was down in Red Hook just last night. Jesus, Red Hook. What'd you do down there? Oh, nothing much. I just walked around. I went into a couple places and had a drink, but most of the time I just walked around. Just walked around? Sure. Just looking at things, you know. 
Where'd you go? I asked him. Oh, I don't know the name of the place, but I could find it on my map. One time I was walking across some big fields where there ain't no houses, but I could see ships over there all lighted up. They was loading, so I walks across the field to where the ships are. Sure, I says. I know where you was. You was down to the Erie Basin. Yeah, I, I guess that was it. They had some of those big elevators and cranes and they was loading ships, and I could see some ships in dry dock all lighted up. So I walks across the fields to where they are. Then what'd you do? Oh, nothing much. I came back across the fields after a while and went into a couple places and had a drink. Didn't nothing happen while you was in there? No, nothing much. A couple of guys was drunk in one of the places and started a fight, but they bounced them out. And then one of the guys started to come back again, but the bartender gets his baseball bat out from under the counter, so the guy goes on. Jesus. Red Hawk. Sure, that's where it was, all right. Well, you keep out of there. You stay away from there. Why? What's wrong with it? Oh, it's a good place to stay away from, that's all. It's a good place to keep out of. Why? Why is it? Jesus, what you gonna do with a guy as dumb as that? I saw it was no use to try to tell him nothing. He wouldn't know what I was talking about. So I just says to him, Ah, oh, nothing. You might get lost down there, that's all. Lost? Nah, I wouldn't get lost to get a map. <laughs> a map? Red Hook? Jesus. So then the guy begins to ask me all kinds of nutty questions. How big was Brooklyn, and could I find my way around it, and, and how long would it take a guy to know the place? Listen, I says, you get that idea out of your head right now. You ain't never gonna get to know Brooklyn. Not in a hundred years. I've been living here all my life, I says, and I don't even know all there is to know about it. So how do you expect to know the town when you don't even live here? Yeah, but I got a map to help me find my way. Map or no map, you ain't gonna get to know Brooklyn with no map. Can you swim? He says, just like that. Jesus, by that time, you know, I begun to see that the guy was some kind of nut. He had plenty to drink, of course, but he had that crazy look in his eye I didn't like. Can you swim, he says. Sure, I says, can't you? No, not more than a stroke or two. I never learned good. Well, it's easy. All you need is a little confidence. The way I learned, my older brother pitched me off the dock one day when I was eight years old. Close and all. You'll swim, he says. You'll swim all right or drown. And believe me, I swam. When you know you got to, you'll do it. The only thing you need is confidence. And once you've learned, you've got nothing else to worry about. You'll never forget it. It's something that stays with you as long as you live. Can you swim good? Like a fish. I'm a regular fish in the water. I learned to swim right off the docks with all the other kids. What would you do if you saw a man drowning? Do? Why, I'd jump in and pull him out. That's what I'd do. Did you ever see a man drown? Sure, I says. I see two guys, both times at Coney Island. They got out too far, and neither one of them could swim. They drowned before anyone could get to them. What becomes of people after they drowned out here? Drowned out where? Out here in Brooklyn. I don't know what you mean, I says. I never heard of no one drowning here in Brooklyn unless you mean in a swimming pool. You can't drown in Brooklyn, I says. You gotta drown somewhere else, in the ocean, where there's water. Drowning, the guy says, looking at his map. Drowning, Jesus. I could see by then he was some kind of nut. He had that crazy expression in his eyes when he looked at you, and I didn't know what he might do. So we was coming to a station, and it wasn't my stop, but I got off anyway and waited for the next train. Well, so long, chief, I says. Take it easy now. Drowning, the guy says, looking at his map. Drowning. Jesus, I've thought about that guy a thousand times since then and wondered whatever happened to him going out to look at Benson Hoist because he liked the name. Walking round through Red Hook by himself at night and looking at his map. How many people did I see get drowned out here in Brooklyn? How long would it take a guy with a good map to know all there was to know about Brooklyn? 
Jesus, what a nut he was. I wonder whatever happened to him anyway. I wonder if someone knocked him on the head or if he's still wandering around the subway in the middle of the night with his little map. <sighs> the poor guy. Say, I've got to laugh at that when I think about him. Maybe he's found out by now that he'll never live long enough to know the whole of Brooklyn. It'd take a guy a lifetime to know Brooklyn true and true, and even then, you wouldn't know it all. This concludes Only the Dead Know Brooklyn by Thomas Wolfe. Narrated by Anthony Sampierre.